there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin. Yes, today we are actually checking out a little bit of footage from my playthrough of Shadows of Mordor. And it's, this is why I started playing this game, just for my pleasure and benefit and relaxation over Christmas. But dear God, did I feel good today whenever I got this. Right, of course, there's actually the nemesis system of Shadows of Mordor, where things will beat you down and win and take you out of one, one time after another, and then they kind of get escalated up. Now, this particular guy hasn't killed me in any way, shape, or form, but his subordinates have killed me a number of times while trying to complete his mission. This is one of the war chiefs in the opening part of the game. The whole premise is you have to take out three out of the four war chiefs to make any progress to move on to the next bit. Now, of course, you can see this guy's a bit of a motherfucker. Uh, I can't use vaults over the top of him. I can't use combat finishers, finishers in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, really, my only two options were to burn him or hit him with arrows. Now, I thought maybe... Maybe I could cheese this. Maybe I could just cheese this one out. If I could cheese this one out and be able to get away with it, like actually uh, just beat him with individual hits, I, I thought maybe, maybe, maybe this will this be an easy way to get through it. I won't let anybody know that I've done it. But even though I was trying to do it the cheap and easy way, this became a goddamn debacle. Um, yeah, and what I'm going to use is a little bit of a shot on two of the Karagor kind of bait things. That I'm intending this to actually not really take him out in any way, shape, or form. What I want these to do is keep everybody else the fuck away from me because this guy kind of like encourages enemies to attack immediately if they're next to him. So I'm drawing them away while drawing him out towards me. That's why I kind of timed it a little bit longer. And I'm just kneeling them with headshots. And you see how much damage these things do. If I had more elf shot or if I could get myself to a, a resource to recharge it or even have an enemy nearby to drain, this mightn't have been quite so big of a problem. But you're about to see what happens whenever you go into combat with this guy and try to use your combat finisher. It just becomes a very awkward fight because I'm trying to count my hits in the combo so I can hear that whoop, 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 and then stop just in time. But if you're pressing buttons too fast, it can make it really damn difficult. Now, this becomes a Benny Hill sketch of just two of us just wandering around. I'm bouncing his head off a wall every single time. I'm chasing him around the side. The core guards, I'm stuck back there or watching us fight it's just trails along the wall now if you look at the map at the bottom down the bottom left corner there the map's showing I'm pushing him further and further out of the stronghold I'm pushing him further and further away this is to keep him away from his teammates so I don't have a problem of actually like uh, being um, mobbed by anything else so he can't bring them with him so I thought I was pretty easily I thought I could just keep working on this combo keep on hitting him pop 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 over and over again didn't see any danger of course, the moment he hits me, I'm near dead, which is probably not the best way to survive this. But yeah, I'm, I start making these really clinch grabs, clinch kind of moves on the um, quick time events and keep myself alive. Now, I don't see that much damage coming down. I don't see any damage going down on his um, health bar at this point because I don't feel like I'm making any progress. I mean, if I am, it's very, very slow or the game's intentionally making it so that I can't win with this particular tactic. But what it does instead is give me this laughing motherfucker. Look at this Conor McGregor looking son of a bitch. <laughs> Stop fucking laughing. This guy creeps the hell out of me as well. But it gives me a chance. Like, obviously, I'm fighting another captain. That's a difficult fight of stun itself. But if I can keep this one-on-one, -on -one, it's absolutely fine. I'll survive. I can just keep these guys separated from each other. And bam, I can knock him out. No, this wasn't intentional. I was hoping to get a drain on him so I could get more... Uh, elf arrows to be able to attack back. Now, a combat drain would have been useful, even just a like, grapple drain, but I, I get offered another opportunity here. There's another goddamn captain just jumps out of fucking nowhere and throws himself into the middle of this fight. So uh, now I'm actually fighting like a berserker type war chief, a archer uh, that's actually jumped in. I've taken down just like a large dude, a large orc. So I've kind of got an opportunity here to do the trick that I was planning to do, to actually like, see if I could get this guy drained in combat and maybe uh, take him out with arrows. That's what I really want to do. I want to take out the war chief with arrows. I, like, even at this point, I think maybe, oh, he doesn't take combat finishers, but can I hit him whenever he's on the ground? Nope, can't hit him on the ground either. Can't take him down. So I'm stuck here. I can't even, like you see this bit here, I'm having to dodge around because I can't jump into them. I can't do um, a bolt at this point. I ever even get over the top of this guy's shoulders. So I'm pinning him up against the corner. And look at this. Look at this! I, I, pro I freeze framed it a couple of times to see if I could catch who it was. There's another fucking captain! Showed up out of goddamn nowhere! So, obviously, I start 
wheeling on these guys. I mean, I've got an opportunity now. I could probably have drained this dude, but I thought, right, he's about to go down. I could take him out in one more hit. Bam, he's gone. Who's next? Right, lose your motherfucking head. So that's two captains down in this fight. I'm fighting a warchief, and I've taken down two captains during a warchief fight. Now I'm on to the third captain. This prick. Now, this guy actually, I don't know anything about him because a lot of these captains are showing up out of nowhere. I haven't got any information on them because I've killed every other captain in the goddamn game. But I get my drain on him. I try to jump him, but he can't be grappled, he can't be vaulted, so I was not going to take him down. So I take this opportunity to go back, bomb, right in the face, boom, one in the armpit. Come on, get one else. Down he goes, he's on the floor. Now I've got the opportunity to run in here. Oh, don't hit me with any spears. Can't vault him, make the mistake again. So I go for the punch, and I get pulled into the fight to finish off this guy instead, because he's already on the ground. So now I've got to immediately hit a QTE and then get ready for fight again. This became, like, it's just like, while I was playing this, I was like, oh, 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 yeah! Fuck your head! Fuck your fucking head! I felt so, so goddamn good. And now, I think this guy's running, I don't need to kill him. He's gone, he's ran, I've completed my mission, I was here to take down the war chief. That's what I was here to do. But, for matter of completionism, I'm not letting this fuck get away. So I uh, take him in the corner and I hammer away at him. Now I just, I'm gonna let this fight roll on because I make a couple of silly mistakes and I don't want to care to comment on them because I keep doing this over and over again. But, guys, yeah, Shadows of Mordor, I forgot how good this game is. This is an amazing game. It's dirt cheap. It's available on this, uh, as a Game of the Year edition. I bought it on PC a few years back and I loved how it looked on PC. I'm a little bit annoyed about the field of view you kind of control, like the fact that you can't really see too much around you while you're playing this, so it makes it very difficult to fight in big combat. But shit, this game is good. So I recommend going and picking it up. Go, go If you haven't played Shadows of Mordor, get your hands on it, because the combat system alone is well worth it, especially for weird shit like this happening. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Passage of Skin. I hope to see you all really again soon, and make sure to check us out here on the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the likes, and I'll chat to you all in the next video. Bye.